It's not the same as running five miles or lifting weights, but anyone who spends the majority of their day at a desk knows that it can be physically taxing too, and not in the best ways. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and that afternoon lean and hunch that develops from hovering over a keyboard can not only give you a hunchback look on a day-to-day -day basis, it can also start to create more enduring problems. Trouble is, most of us don't even realize we're leaning, so how could we possibly stop it? The answer is Upright Go S. In this review, I'll look at what this device is, how it works, and if it actually works, as well as whether I can recommend it for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and do consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. So what is Upright Go S? Simply put, this device is a posture trainer. It consists of a small thumb-sized plastic bean that either sticks to or hangs over your back. Using sensors that detect its position and its orientation, this device will deliver gentle vibrations if you start to lean, a mindful nudge that you're slouching. A companion app will give you feedback on your progress too. What's in the box? With the Upright Go S option, you get the Go S unit plus a charging cable and travel case. There's also a guitar pick looking adhesive removal tool plus five reusable silicone adhesive tabs. Now the case is less for travel and more useful as a storage location since its pebbled base gives you a safe place to stick the Go S with the adhesive pad still on so you can reuse it a few more times. With the Upright Go S here, you first need to calibrate the device so that it knows what straight and hunched are for you specifically. You can adjust your posture or slouching range from relaxed to strict. You can also set a delay for posture notifications from about 5 seconds to 15, 30 seconds, or up to 1 minute. Now the delay is actually smart since if you bend over to grab something on the 5 second delay option, for example, you'll get a buzzy warning. The best delay in my testing experience was about 15 seconds, long enough so that every reach or lean didn't get a nudge, but short enough that I didn't get comfortable in a stoop. You can customize the vibration options too among gentle, medium, or strong. Now to really get the most from this device, you do need the Upright app here. In the Stats tab of the Upright app, you can view your progress day by day. On my first day of use, I ended up with a score of just 50%, where half the time I was wearing the pod, I was slouching and getting reminded, while the other half of the time I stayed basically upright. Upright wants you to aim for a minimum of 60 minutes per day wearing this device and you'll get a little virtual high five if you make it. You can also compare your posture to the healthy range and averages as well as viewing your progress over time. So what's it like using the Upright Go S? Like many of you watching this, I thought my posture was just fine, thank you, and assumed that this would be an easy day of wearing the Go S. Turns out my posture wasn't as rigid as I would have liked, and on my first day I only scored 50% on the straight versus slouch scale. Not only that, using my core to sit upright definitely left me feeling like I'd completed a mild abdominal workout. After a couple of hours, I cried uncle and put it away for the day. My next go round with the Upright Go S was better since I knew what to expect. I was able to seat myself properly in my chair, stay straight, and without as much effort, I was able to better my score. Attaching the pod to my back with the adhesive was easy enough, though my husband told me it was sometimes a bit crooked, and the adhesive was strong enough to hold and it didn't hurt at all to remove it. It was actually quite easy to forget that I was wearing the Go S, unless, of course, I slouched. The Upright Go S should last about 20 hours on battery, or two and a half days according to the company. It must go into some kind of sleep mode when it's put to bed in its case here, and I don't recall if I actually powered it down or not, since I used it on the first day and then set it aside for several days, but it was still working for me on day five. Battery life, if you want to check it for sure, is visible in the app. When it's time to recharge, just connect the USB-C cable and you should be full again in about three hours, which did jive overall with my testing. Let's talk about these adhesives. Initially, I wasn't too sure about them. I figured after my supply ran out, I'd be hard pressed to want to pay for more. Turns out the company actually makes it pretty easy to reorder since you can grab new ones in the app at about a dollar a pop. 
They are definitely reusable, though not surprisingly, they're most sticky during their first use and less so across subsequent wearing. Upright says you should be able to get about 10 uses per pad, depending on your skin type, sweat, and how many times you might be sticking and unsticking it. So I thought that was pretty reasonable. I'd say in my testing, I could probably stretch that 10 uses, but that's about accurate for me. Now, the other option is the optional lanyard, or the necklace, as the company calls it. It's made of silicone and has a magnetic closure, and it's priced at about $20. It has a sort of USB-style port that lets you clip the Go S into it, and then you essentially just let it hang down your back. It's a cool option to have if you don't want to fuss with those adhesives. Overall, I've been really impressed with the Upright Go S. Initially, I really thought this was a silly gimmick, but after wearing it for a week, it has definitely made a difference in not just my actual posture, but in how aware I am of how I'm sitting or standing. The device is super compact, it's completely pain-free, and you could easily wear it with no one ever being the wiser. The Go S is billed as the budget version, but as far as I'm concerned, it really didn't feel like I was missing out on any features. Other options if you're surfing for posture training devices include things like braces or halters, belts or vests. In terms of the ring, another smart connected posture correction device that is easy to hide, Upright Go kind of seems to own the market. I've really been enjoying my Upright Go S experience and I think you will too, so I'm definitely able to recommend it for you. Upright Go S sells for about $59 US and it's available from the company's website and from Amazon. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full write-up. There you can also ask me any questions you have about this device. You can of course also post them here in comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.